guys welcome to my channel again this is unique b12 and if you're new here click the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell for whenever i post videos so today we are going to be doing a corsage and also a pennant the four-year-old naya is going to prom so this is what we have here we got the floral tape we got a ribbon here i got my candy glue gun i haven't plugged it in yet I don't want the glue to go everywhere it does get super hot fast and we don't need that we got um extra hot glue sticks here it's by gorilla these are pretty good so I like this brand they all they got the off brand but this brand right here holds a whole lot better we also have here on floor and arrangement this is artificial flowers and stuff i found at a thrift store here in georgia so i'm going to cut off a couple of pieces here and put it on her corsage and i'm going to take a rose here of some sort and um, another flower maybe so and some other little garments and put a pendant for my son so what we're going to do so far is take this floral wire right here and we're going to attach all of these onto here with the glue gun here we got. And be careful because this glue can be super hot and it will burn your skin if it comes in contact. Okay. So, so far I got that right there. You want to continue to keep going. You don't have to push too much out, especially if you have a glue gun like I do. It just comes out pretty easy. So there we go. I'm trying to place this one under here. Oops. Eh? That's what I got so far. Gonna continue. I want to put the big one on there already because I want to put a place everything else around it so it don't be in the way when I do it. You get what I'm saying? If you really do. <laughs> okay. We gotta bend it. This part uncooled off. So. So I bent the end of that part, you see right there, I bent it. So we're going to add it on to the other pieces here. Now this is not going to be the only finished touch with just the glue. I'm going to also wrap it with this floral tape. And that's to keep it, you know, in place. So I made a place back here in the back for it. Now the rose is pretty heavy. So I'm placing this right here like that. So, so what we're going to do is get this floral tape here and wrap it now. Now we had a floral tape here. For floral tape, if you're new to using it, floral tape, once you pull it apart it activates it so it have a sticky particle right there so it's kind of sticky once you do that part so we're going to add this to this we're going to wrap everything that we have put together here see so it'll stay together oh well, we're going to wrap from the back of it on the top and keep going What I could do, I could just cut off some of it as much as I know. If I need more, I'll just come back in and just get some more. I just don't want 
this roll to keep on rolling around so I could just keep working this around this part get what I'm saying so you just wrap it around like so like that and as you're pulling it activates the glue stuff inside of it already so it'll keep it a whole a whole lot longer okay and I'm gonna keep wrapping all the way down I wrap upward and now I want to wrap downward it's here so I just want to keep wrapping until I cover up this piece right here and this will be the pendant for my son's shirt and then next I will be doing Naya's corsage and then whatever access I usually will wrap it right back upward you know once you cover up that stem part right there, you can wrap it right back up. Until you run out of space. Well, I know the people are going to say, you went back down. Yeah, I went up and I went right back down. Because I want to make sure everything gets covered. And then I don't have it to keep coming back and stuff like that. So then you just go ahead, wrap the rest of it like that. And it's sticky too, so. Along with the glue gun here we have. And also this floral tape is pretty sticky. It's a sticky job. So we have a pen to here. So you're going to make sure everything is in place and, you know, it looks to where you like it so far I like it I think of this is a little bit too much but I think it's pretty good overall and we're gonna cut this part off and this is felt I brought this at Walmart for 23 cents maybe you could find at your craft store a little bit cheaper and it doesn't have to be perfect with the cut so I cut that part right there and I'm going to cut a little square there we go. so you have a rectangle and a sort of square it don't have to be perfect like I said but but if you want it to be perfect you can fix it like I did this is a square this is the rectangle So I'm cutting off ribbon right here for her wrist. And then it can be adjusted to however once you know it's done. So you don't have to cut this part. I would say fold this part down once you're done with it. But I cut off the ribbon part right here. And we're gonna start on her corsage so what I'm doing so far now is I'm going to put lace all of these pieces right here as leaves right here onto the felt I'm gonna cover it up so I'm gonna put glue everywhere pretty much and just place them anywhere everything else in place like so you're gonna try and cover up the felt pieces right there because this is going to go on her arm and if you need to cover up a place then you just go ahead and go and apply more glue to it then next I'm going to put all of these on here and then we're going to put the rose in the middle. Once you place all the pieces like I have here, I placed all the pieces here. I'm still like molding some of them in place. You should, it should come out like this, you see? And that'll be her corsage. I'm going to also place the ribbon here on the back part. So I'm going to show you guys. So I also cut out two of these because what I was, so I was thinking about doing was putting this underneath the 
ornaments and stuff that I have here, but I ended up not doing so. So what I'm going to do is flip it over here. And we're going to place the ribbon on here like so. So evenly on both sides, as you could tell. See right here. And then we're going to glue. We're going to do that. So what I did so far now, I know this part was cut. So since I had cut it, I'm going to bend it inward so it doesn't show the cuts that we had from cutting it with the scissors. So you're going to try and even those two out as much as possible. Once you've done that, go down here with some glue and voila. That's what you should have so far. So I did the whole thing all the way down. This side was already tucked. I went ahead and did that. So I just showed you guys that portion right there. So that's your ribbon. So with the ribbon right here, we're going to place it like so right there on the back end of the felt. And what we're going to do is place a whole bunch of glue here. Even it out in the middle of the ribbon where we want it to be. Place it like that. And I prefer this as for like kits and stuff so it'll last longer. And what I'm going to do next also, put some more glue here. That's what you're going to do. Put some more glue here. Place the other felt right here on top of it. You see? And we want to seal both ends right here too. And that's what you should have so far right there. And that is your corsage. And this is the pendant. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was super excited about doing this so far. Because I was like, I looked at the corsage that I wanted to buy. And they were like 30 bucks. So I was like, you know, I can actually do it at home. It's cheaper. And then um, I'm a do-it-yourself type of person anyway. So there you have it. You got a corsage and a pendant. Enjoy. <laughs>